just one tap and you can quickly see only the important tasks for the day. This app helps you focus on critical tasks when you feel like procrastinating and here's how it works. As soon as something needs to be done, add it to your list. Add it immediately as soon as you think of it so it doesn't get missed. And having everything upfront sort of ensures that you'll get to it unless you delay or procrastinate. And that's why we're going to talk about Craig's tool. It's a to-do app especially for procrastinators. It helps you focus on what's critical. It has this simple toggle that narrows down and shows you tasks that mean the most to you. It's a beautifully designed app and makes sure that it doesn't overwhelm you. That's why there are no due dates. In fact, there's no overdue tab at all. The app is all about the present and the future. That is, you can bucket your tasks as things to do right now or later. And of course, all your tasks are neatly sorted under projects that you create and edit on the fly. Let me just walk you through the app in detail. So when you log in, you're in your inbox. This is where you dump everything you want to do. If you want to add something to your inbox, hit the blue button here. Now think of it as a quick task. Just describe what needs to be done, assign a color and that's it. And you can keep adding anything and everything in your mind right now or as they come to you. And that's pretty much it. You just do this for every thought or task that comes to your mind. So you just pick an item, put it into a project and decide when you want to do it. That's it. And it takes less than three seconds to do so. And by the way, you can also directly add a task to a project or a view or a time frame. So you could tap on the three dots, you could go into a time frame and directly add a task here. And you know, as you keep adding more and more tasks to the app, the app will more and more work in your favor. So let's say I wake up, I look at all the tasks that I have for today. I do three of them, but suddenly I start to feel a little sluggish and I slow down. Happens to everyone, right? At this stage, if I tap on procrastination mode here, it will quickly filter down all your tasks and show the ones that are critical for you. This has a psychological effect on you. Because if you see tasks that are important right in front of you, it's tough to ignore them and that sort of gets you back on track. There's also residual effect. The more you do these tasks, the more productive you feel and you can turn off that procrastination mode and continue your flow to finish other tasks. And so anytime you feel like you're drifting away, like for a game or just picking up your phone to open Instagram or just feel like lying down on the bed, just turn this mode on. But let's say you could not finish all the tasks that were there in your today tab. The app does not put this as an overdue or there is no overdue tab. They remain in today's tab. Also, the app doesn't give you the number of tasks that are there in any specific category or project or view. It's these little subtle things that the developer has done to ensure that you don't feel stressed or anxious and you just focus on getting your work done. And hey, it still is a to-do app. You can see your tasks at a glance. You can see what's due today, tomorrow, or in the future. You can take a task from the future and put it under today. Or you can take a task from today and push it to the future. And as you do them, you keep marking them as done. Whatever you mark as done goes into your logbook so you can take a look at that too, just for reference. So let me walk you through how I use the app. Inbox, as you know, is a dumping ground, so everything goes in here before they become tasks. Now, projects are important. So the first one, Guru, is a work project, then personal, Goa, and Dubai are just personal projects because, you know, I keep dumping stuff over there. And then MobiScript videos and social and other work projects are again, important projects. So critical tasks are always belonging to work-based projects. Projects like personal and to buy are basically personal chores and they are flexible. And so essentially, work-related projects often contain critical tasks and those are the projects that I never hide during procrastination. So if I go into this project, you'll see it's never hidden during procrastination because I know for a fact it may contain an important task. But stuff like to buy, that's a project that has flexible stuff in it. You know, I can buy something today or tomorrow and that I can hide during procrastination. Goa, I mean, if I'm planning a trip and I need to know what all things to do beforehand, it's all right, it's not urgent. And so naturally, if I turn on procrastination mode, I'll only see important work-related tasks and not my personal chores. You know, if you really want this app to work for you, just make sure it's the first and the last thing you see during your day. You wake up and the first thing you do is go to your today tab and see what's important for today. You feel like slacking, you turn on procrastination mode and get the most critical tasks done. Throughout the day, you keep remembering things to do, just keep throwing them in your inbox. And when it's night, you just open your inbox, look at all the thoughts, notes or tasks that you dumped in there and convert them into actual actionable tasks. That's it. And for some of you, this may actually 
be the productivity system that you've been looking for. If at any stage you want to understand how to use this app, there's a help section right here that tells you everything you need to know. The app is available on both Android and iOS and the free version is pretty good to start with. But if you do want to try the premium service, uh, then you can try the code MOBISCRUB when you're purchasing the monthly plan and you can try out premium service for three days without getting charged. And if you don't find yourself needing the premium service, well, then you can just cancel the monthly plan before you get charged, so within those three days. That's it. All right, and that's it, guys, on the Craig's Do app. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments section. And as always, guys, if you did enjoy watching the video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.